This is a flagrant violation of international law and demands a firm response from the international community. Today, President Joe Biden announced strong economic sanctions against Russia in response to Russia's troop deployments into eastern parts of Ukraine. Biden called it the beginnings of an invasion, but also said he is still hoping for a peaceful diplomatic resolution. As tensions and sanctions increase, how will this impact us in Hampton Roads? Ten on your side's Kelly Gaskins takes that question to a local foreign affairs professor. Professor Paula Pickering from William and Mary said it's extremely important for Americans to pay attention to the situation in Ukraine. She calls Russia's actions a concerted effort to undermine democracy in not just Europe, but also in the United States. How this situation in Ukraine plays out matters greatly to the United States and its allies because it's seen as a bellwether of Western power and influence. Russian President Vladimir Putin views Ukraine's ever cozier relationship with the West as a threat to Russia. So how far will he go? William and Mary professor Paula Pickering believes Putin will stop short of a full-scale takeover. The prospect of annexing a country of 44 million and over 70 percent of which view Russia as a hostile country. A full-on invasion and an attempt like that to annex the entire country would be incredibly costly for Russia. Senator Tim Kaine weighed in during his visit to Hampton Roads today. See, we are providing um, military equipment support for the Ukrainian military, not troops, but there may be effect on you know, on troops who are connected to Hampton Roads, not going into Ukraine, but our, but our NATO allies, Poland and others, are worried about Russia. Kane said Congress is prepared to do their part. When we go back to Congress next week, we will look probably first to, uh, you know, uh, signify our bipartisan support of the sanctions that President Biden has done. But there, there may be additional sanctions that he doesn't have the authority to put on without us that we will work um, to impose for this just gross violation of international law. In his address this afternoon, President Biden announced more American troops are headed to the region. In the newsroom, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.